Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Show. I bring you some more Madden 18 budget beats, some sleepers, some cheap guys you can pick up that competes with the great guys like the ones we're looking at here. I mean, these are the top 10 tight ends, but guess what? You're probably not going to be able to afford guys like this. Or you might be able to, but you're not going to be able to afford everybody you want on your team unless you go out and get a bunch of coins off a website or something or buy packs. Um, like crazy. I, I don't think that's really the way to go. So here we go. We're going to have some budget beast tight ends. We got guys that are going to be tall. They can go up and get it. We got guys that are going to be fast. We got guys that are going to be, um, you know, just good all around tight ends. You can get on the cheap. So uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor and hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, if you guys have any ideas for what to do next in these type of uh, videos, leave it in the comment section and I'll do that as well. And that's it. Let's go and let's get into it. All right. So first up, we got Demetrius Harris. This is real budget beast style right out the gate. We got a silver card, a guy who's six foot seven which is one of the tallest tight ends in the entire game. The tallest guy is actually six foot eight. Uh, but this guy also has a top notch speed. It's 81 speed is higher than Rob Gronkowski's by four points. Any speed over 80 at this point in the game is almost is considered elite. If you see all his physical attributes are really good. His catching stats are kinda eh, but it's okay because that's, you know, this guy's a, a, he's a physical freak. Next up we got rookie OJ Howard. I mean, I don't know if people, people are gonna know about this card. I mean, if you didn't get him in the, uh, in the rookie premiere sets, you can still get his cards as they come out. Six foot six, uh, one of the faster tight ends at 81 speed, 84 excel. He's also a pretty good run blocker too at a 67, but his casting stats are all in the mid 60s to almost 70 range. Uh, but should be a really good tight end to start. Next up, we got Kobe Fleener. This is a really good tight end every year. He's six foot six. He's a 79 overall, just under an elite. So maybe he'll slip under the radar a little bit. Won't be too expensive. Uh, looking at his stats, though, 82 speed is one of the higher ones. 83 uh, jumps from the higher ones, and all of his catching stats are in the 70s. So a little bit more of a uh, complete player. Now we're getting into the fast guys. We got Evan Ingram, a complete speed mismatch, the fastest tight end in the game. He's six foot three too, which is pretty good. Not much of a blocker. I mean, he's basically a receiving tight end but he's at 85 speed like i said that's the highest 87 acceleration that's one of the highest uh 80 jump 80 agility his catching stats are all in the 60 to 70 range too so this guy right here i think he might be my starter day one and i go from the guy who's probably gonna be my starter this year to the guy who's my starter last year now it's paul 74 overall was a silver card last year not necessarily the tallest guy six foot one but his speed acceleration combination is what makes him great really good catching stats too uh, but this guy right here, he's just a complete, he's basically a receiver playing tight end. Next up, we got Darren Waller. This was one of my favorite guys in regular uh, Madden. He didn't have a muck card last year. He was a monster last year. He was like a 90 speed in regular Madden. I used him quite a bit. Uh, now he finally has a card. He's a 68 overall silver. Six foot six. Like I said, he was a 90 speed, but you know what? In mutt terms, that drops to an 83 speed. Still the second highest speed. 83 speed. Still the second highest as tight ends right now. Go. Uh, an 80, 81 jump. Uh, his catching stats aren't that great, but they're in the 60s. That's good enough. Uh, but this guy right here, I'm definitely going to be snatching him up. I was, I've been waiting a year to snatch this guy up. Next up, we got gold card Eric Ebron. This guy right here is, once again, a complete receiving tight end. Six foot four. All these guys are going to have decent height because they're tight ends, but 82 speed, 83 acceleration, 80 agility, uh, 70 across the board catching stats. This guy, not much of a run blocker, but he's a really good receiving tight end. Here's a name not a lot of people know, Bucky Hodges. I'm pretty sure he's a rookie. I'm not even 100% about that, but six foot six, and he's got some of the highest stats in a couple areas. I mean, he's one of the highest jumps at six foot six as an 87 speed guy. And he also has one of the highest speeds at an 82 speed as far as tight ends go. Good acceleration too. Um, as his change of direction is not too great. His catching stats aren't too great, but he's definitely gonna be somebody worth checking out. Next up, I gotta give a shout out to my boy, Trey Burton. This guy right here, I used him so much last year. He was a silver car back then. And he was also a little bit faster. They dropped the speed just like everybody else. Uh, but they gave him a gold card, so they improved him in a lot of different areas. He's got a 68 run block. That's one of the higher run blocks as far as these guys are concerned, which I think is total BS. I don't think he's really a good blocker in real life, but they keep giving him a good run block every year. Uh, but his speed in 80 is above average for sure. His acceleration is, is agility, and all of his catching stats are really high up there. So, like I said, take from experience. I use this guy personally. I love this guy. He's great in game. Next up, we got Jared Cook. This guy's an 81 overall. He's barely an elite, so he should fly under the radar quite a bit. But he's one of the tallest tight ends at six foot five. I could have swore last year was six foot six, but who cares? Uh, still really a tall guy. All of his catching stats are in the mid to high 70s, and his speed at an 80 uh, with that type of height is really elite. 85 jump as well, also really good. Uh, but his run blocking, 74 run blocking, that's definitely up there. Next up, we got David Joko. I'm not really sure if the end sign. I don't know how to say his name, but he's six foot four and he has the highest jump of any tight end in this game at right at the moment. 87 jump, so this guy's a hell of an athlete. 79 speed, a little bit lower than I want, but the 84 acceleration is really high, and all of his catching stats 
are pretty good too. Decent run blocker, uh, really good rookie card. Next up, we got Luke Wilson, all around great athlete, six foot five, which is one of the tallest tight ends. He's also got really good speed, above average speed, uh, 81. Acceleration is one of the highest. I think the highest is 87, so he's not too far from that. Look at catching stats, all of them pretty close to 70. Uh, basically just a receiving tight end and a really good one at that. 83 jump as well. Well, that's it. That's the video. Top tight ends. I think the next one I want to do might be pass rushers, defensive ends, uh, budget beasts. I think that's where I'm going to go. But unless you guys want to tell me different in the comment section what you want to see, uh, and I'll do that. If you want to keep me to keep continuing the series leading up to Madden 18, hit the like button and I'll do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Moish it out.